I'm Wendy Ulrich. I have stopped in at the Time Out for Women office today to share a little challenge with you. I'm talking this, uh, this year on Time Out for Women about creativity. And so my challenge to you to live higher this month is to exercise your creativity a little bit. I was in the temple this morning and I was thinking about how often in the scriptures and in holy places God teaches us about his creative power. And I don't think he's just trying to get us to learn about him, but also to learn about ourselves. So the first step in the, in the creativity um, live higher challenges, we have to identify what it is we want to do differently. Now that could be a little challenging in and of itself. It takes a little creativity. So one way that i found that helps me sometimes to do this is to make a list of just brainstorming 10 things that I would love to try if I weren't afraid. That's because fear is often the thing that keeps me from being more creative and doing more innovative things in my life. Although it's important to remember that creativity that I'm talking about is not just about arts and crafts, it's not just about being artsy, it's not just about being a poet or a musician, it's about creating relationships, it's about creating things, it's about creating adventures, it's about creating schedules and time. So one of the things that was on my list when I made my list of 10 things of what I'd love to do if I weren't afraid was skydiving, which I'm not going to do because I'm very, very, very afraid of that. And so sometimes our fears are realistic. Um, one of my things I thought of doing was cleaning my garage. Doesn't sound very creative, but I need some creative solutions out there. Um, another one was that I just felt like I, if I weren't afraid, I would throw everything in my closet away and start over completely. And that's not very realistic. I'm not going to do that one either. Another one was, if I weren't a little afraid about it, I'd probably spend a lot more time with my grandchildren, but I'm afraid I'm maybe not the best grandmother in the world or I'll get bored or things like that. So we can have creativity in lots of different aspects of our lives. One of the things on my creativity list of things I would do if I weren't afraid was I knew I had a project I started about three years ago that was sitting out in my garage that I kind of thought maybe I'd like to finish. But of course, I didn't finish it because I got stuck when I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do the next step very well. So I decided of my list of 10, that was the one I was going to work on for this month. And the goal is to spend 15 minutes three times a week for the next month, just a little bit, 15 minutes, working on your creative goal, whatever that is. So my first 15 minutes, all I did was go out to the garage, find this piece of wood in a bunch of a mess out there. My garage really is a problem. And um, this is a, a, a start of a Lazy Susan that I actually made from a board three years ago. I'm very proud of this because it was my first woodworking project. And I have this that I was able to find, although I couldn't find the screws that are supposed to attach it to the back of the Lazy Susan anymore because it's been sitting there too long. Then I was able to go find a piece of paper and trace my Lazy Susan onto this piece of paper and then that was all I could do for the first day. My 15 minutes was up and I was scared about the next step because I'm not an artistic person. So I'll let you know how I do. Hope you find a project you can work on. 15 minutes is all, three times a week, just for a month. See how you do.